hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i will show you how i created this beautiful fracture effect in 3ds max and type room so let's get started so first of all i am working in unit centimeters one unit is equal to one centimeter i have a teapot and a box and box is animated from down to up 0 to 100 frames now I'm going to click on the box right click on the box sorry object properties display as a box not renderable now I am create type flow going to type flow editor now I need Uh, birth object operator I am gonna pick our teapot or any object you created so now I will hide my uh, original teapot so here is only type flow teapot here okay for now I am going to create some fractures so for that I am gonna use for no fracture operator I guess I am gonna use uh, 2000 points or I guess 3000 points and 20 variations yeah it's look good okay now I want it to hide all our fractured particles until our box is fully upward so for that I am gonna use scale operator and make its scale value to 0 now I need a surface test operator and I'm gonna pick my box and I'm gonna click on uh, zero distance if inside volume and change its value to one centimeter so what here I am gonna do so I'm gonna do check if the T our T port is inside the box so reveal the fractures particles so for that I'm gonna add a different scale operator but in event 2 and I'm gonna connect our surface test to even two. Okay, now I'm gonna change the scales to absolute. So look, I'm gonna simulate it. So you can see when uh, we are going further, it's uh, revealing our object. now we need to increase our timeline to 250 something so what now we want we want when it's fully completed we want it to fracture and falling down so i guess it's completed fully on 100 so it will stay for uh, 20 frames and after 20 frames it will start falling for that i'm gonna use a physics sorry time test operator I'll change the test event type to particle age because I want when our particle age is equal to 120 frames it will start falling so value will be 120 and variation 1 so now I will add uh, another operator physics shape in event 2 sorry not in event 2 in event 3 okay now I will connect our time test to event 3 now when we reached on the 120 frame it will send us to the event 3 in event 3 we have applied physics shape operator so it will start falling down let's simulate first
now you can look this completed wheeling and now fall boom now you can see in in my video I have created a different material or color for the outside of the teapot and different is for the inside for the teapot for that I'm gonna going into the Vernier fracture going down to the fracture going to our right cap material ID and change its ID to 2 okay now I'm gonna going into the material editor going to add multi material change to 2 add some material changing its color to red adding it to 1 copy another changing its color to sky blue and now I'm going this I'm going to apply this material on our type flow okay look now check we have a different color for the outside different material for the outside and different material for the inside okay to render these particles I have to add mesh operator in every event now we can render everything so I hope you like this tutorial please consider subscribing my youtube channel for more interesting tutorials thank you